Hi beauties, welcome. Today's video I am nervous about. Funny enough, we actually sat down, started to film this, uh, and then the camera died. And we realized because of the move and everything that we had left the camera, the batteries, the backup batteries and the charger at my parents' house where our old studio was. I've had this box for a while. I sat with it for a while before filming because I was nervous. It's different than any of our content. I actually, I saw it, okay. I'm ner I'm so nervous. I'm like, this is, I, let me start off by saying, I'm not uncomfortable talking about sex. I'm not uncomfortable with sexuality. I just don't do it very publicly. So for me to do this, it's a lot. That being said, if you are a regular subscriber and this is not your type of content, feel free to not watch this video. I know it is very different than what we normally do. This will not become like uh, what to expect from our channel. It might be like a kind of a pop-up thing. This particular box comes every quarter. So maybe like four times a year, maybe a little bit more than that or a little bit less, just depending. Um, but this is definitely not what our content is becoming. Also, that being said, if you're new, welcome. I've been rambling a whole bunch. If you haven't guessed, we're talking about a sex box today. Uh, so that's probably why you clicked on the video. Uh, it is not our regular content, but it is definitely something that I do wanna kind of feature in there and get a little bit more comfortable with. So yes, that's what's happening today. Let's talk about how I stumbled upon this sex box. This is the, uh, I think it's called the Darker Shade of Gray. Yes, that's what it is. The Darker Shade of Gray uh, female pleasure box. And I saw a TikTok about it. And it was a girl who she works with her mother-in-law to, uh, they were getting ready to launch. This was the very first box. They were getting ready to launch it. I saw the TikTok and I showed Nikki and I thought, you know, that might be something cool to do for the camera. And of course he was like, sex box, cool. Definitely, let's do that. So he ordered it for Valentine's Day and then was like, I got this so we could put it on the channel. And I was like, Ah, so I was like, do I want to, am I comfortable enough to do it? Do I want to do it? I thought about it for a while. I talked to my mom about it. My mom was like, cause my mom is our biggest supporter. So she was like, I wouldn't be able to film something like that, but I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it. So I was like, all right, if mom's on board, I'm on board. So here we are. Here we are, a lot of backstory. I just wanted to get that out there. Of course, this is going to be an 18 plus video. We will be talking about uh, extremely intimate objects. Uh, I know YouTube will not monetize this and I doubt they're gonna push it to anybody. So I don't know how many people are gonna see it or not see it. I'm freaking nervous. I just am. Okay, let's jump in. So it does show up in a very discreet package, just all white, just has, you know, it doesn't even say the company name on it, just says their postal uh, like shipping center and uh, of course our name and everything. And then you open it up. I have, you know, normally with subscription boxes, I don't open them up beforehand. I did open this one up because Nikki didn't want me to just be like, oh, surprise on camera. Probably for the best, cause I, I would have, I had no idea that this was what it was. So I would have been like, uh, it probably would have been really funny to watch. That being said, I looked at it, then I didn't look at it for a month. So I was like, okay, I don't, and then we tried to unbox it. And so I know I know at least one of the things, two, two of the things I remember pretty well. I think I know what's in the box, but yes. I haven't opened to see anything. Like in, I left everything in the boxes, except for this guy. We unboxed him and then the camera died. So first thing we have here, this is a, I think, Glass, glass, I don't know. Uh, it is the Mr. Smir Swirly Spiral Glass Dildo. It is eight inches of hand blown glass. And let me tell you, eight inches to me seemed like a ton of a glass still that seemed just like an overwhelming amount. And then I pulled him out the first time and I said, yeah, I was right. I don't know why I have this fear of it being glass too, that something will go awry and I'll end up like on sex sent me to the ER because this glass dildo like broke while I was using it. I don't know. I don't, I don't imagine myself using this. In fact, I joked with Nikki that this will probably wind up being like one of those awkward like statement pieces that you have like just out around, like we just move it around the house because we don't have people over besides like our families, but they know we're weird. So like, whatever. But, but like, I just was like, well, maybe we just like use it as decor. So they wrapped it up very nicely. It comes in this nice little bag and then you, you pop this bad boy out. And he looks like a candy cane, but a perverse one. And I, I have to tell you, the, to me, the most intimidating part is this guy. Like I don't, everybody's body is built differently. And let me tell you guys, my body is not built like this. It's just not. So I, I don't know about this one. Um, I think it's a great product. I think this is probably a really expensive product. They do give you a price breakdown as well. Um, you get 
uh, yeah, they give you like a little sheet that has the price breakdown. So we'll go through that. I'll bring Nikki in. He'll do the tally up like he normally does. They also included an Angie Davis uh, coupon for some lingerie, which I love. Think that's great as well. Um, but yeah, so this bad boy, um, definitely, definitely cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's a really cool piece. I just don't imagine me being in the bedroom like, let's, let's use him. I just, I don't, I don't see it happening. This is so uncomfortable for me to talk about. I'm, if I'm awkward, I'm so sorry. I'm trying not to be awkward, but I'm feeling awkward, so. All right, so obviously Mr. Swirly with his uh, presence wasn't fitting in this bag, but everything else came nicely bundled in this little bag in here. Super cute. And so the whole thing I didn't talk about at the beginning, cause I've been talking about a lot cause my mind's racing. This box in particular, there's quite a few sex subscription boxes out there. You can get them for all different varieties of fetishes and things like that. Really cool. Pretty much anything you could probably want to look for, you're going to be able to find some sort of subscription box or mystery box or something to go with that. This particular one has been curated with female stimulation and pleasure in mind, which is why Nikki thought it was such a cool idea. This was their initial release and it was for Valentine's Day for 2021. So this has a lot of products that are a little bit more couple oriented, where I think is like when we see it in the future, it is gonna be probably more things like the dildo and like vibrators and things like that. That would be my guess. That being said, we also got these Cupid's Pick Your Prize sex scratch tickets, which are cool. I love things like this. We, we've bought stuff like this from like Spencer's before. So I thought that was really cool. And it comes with a lot of them. There's like a whole bunch of them. And then, and then on the back, it's got like um, different positions that you guys can try, which is kind of neat as well. Like it's like the, like the, it's like a handheld Kama Sutra back here. Love it. You love to see it. All right. They also sent us these fizzing bath tints. They are uh, like, they look like little conversation candy hearts and they are um, bath bombs. I think they are supposed to like, I think they're supposed to be like aphrodisiac. Like it's like, it's like dropping an oyster in your bathtub. That would be Nikki standing behind the camera. Like, I don't think that's what you meant, but that's what I meant. I stand by that. It's an aphrodisiac. That's what I'm, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Um, and they're wild flower scented. Oh yeah, they are water tinting. So maybe they just, maybe no. So maybe they just fizz and tinge your water and then the murkiness of the water makes it more sensual. I don't know. I'm not positive. I, we, this is gonna, ha I'm gonna have to test this out. Um, unfortunately, currently our bathtub has a sheet hanging in it cause we still haven't bought a blind. So we just pinned a sheet up there so nobody can see a shower. But at some point we'll get blinds and then we can try them. All right, next bad boy we got in here. This is a vanilla scented heart shaped candle. And this is one of those, you know, everything, we're, we're seeing a theme here, obviously, in this particular box. It, this is a, a, it's a sexy candle. Oh God, how do you like, oh, you like pull off the whole, oh, okay. Oh God. I was just trying to remove the thing and I ripped her lips off. So her lips are gone now. And I guess the vanilla cone is gonna go next. I should have, I should have given you a shot. I don't think I gave you guys a shot of what it looked like before I destroyed it, but can't go back now. All right, so we just have the top of the ice cream left. I was, I was just trying to get it out. I'm, I just, mm. it smells good. I'm not a huge vanilla fan, but it actually is like a very um, natural, I, let's call it natural smelling vanilla. Like, you know, sometimes you get that really synthetic like scent of certain things and this doesn't have that. But the whole idea of this of course is like you burn the candle and it comes with a little, little spoon, got a little spoon in here. And then uh, you can, you know, drip the wax for sexy time use. Um, cool idea. I don't think of myself as being very vanilla, but I really haven't done a lot of this kind of stuff. So it's like, I could see it being interesting. And I could also see it being, once again, could potentially send somebody to the ER. Nikki and I are not the most coordinated people. This could be dangerous. We could also set our house on fire. It took us a really long time to get this house. So that would be a disaster as well. But I definitely think it's something really cool and it's something unique that you would find, you might not think about trying to incorporate. So, and that's what I really like about this box. It gave you a lot of different things and all of them are, um, you know, kind of different kind of things that might help you like figure out what it is you like. 
which I think is probably the idea behind like these kind of boxes. The next thing I think is going to be actually a, probably a really great little asset uh, to have around the house. It is the uh, darker shade of gray, pink power, rechargeable and waterproof uh, vibrating uh, little, little stick guy. Uh, it's seven, got seven different functions and it's a silky smooth finish. And it's like, it reminds me of like the little bullet ones, you know, like, oh, oh, wow, oh, wow, that's powerful. That's even more powerful. Wow, that thing's crazy. Yeah, these seven functions are wild, man. I don't know how to turn it off. Oh, you hold it down to turn it off. Okay, cool. Yes, and it does come with a little recharging thing too. I don't know how you plug it in. Oh, oh, so neat. Okay, there's just like a little hole right there and you just plug in this guy into that and then it's a USB port. Cool. Yeah, I really, I, I'm, this is, if I'm being honest, like it's so, it's so weird talking about it, but this is probably the best product in my opinion in the box. And then the last thing that they give us in our little bag, our little satin bag of goodies, is a, a toy cleaner, which I think is really important when you're obviously curating a box that is about like sex toys because cleaning it hygiene is obviously incredibly important. So yeah, overall really um, interesting box. Uh, I was definitely kind of taken aback when I got it. Um, I definitely feel awkward talking about it on the internet for everybody to see. I feel very vulnerable right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I made this awkward. I'm trying so hard to not make it awkward, but I am naturally an awkward person, so. If you made it this far, God bless. Let let me call Nikki in so we can go. He always does the calculator for me. Nikki, can you come do the calculator for me? Wow, okay, I will say, I'm gonna wait for him to get here, but I will say just looking at the prices, I'm a little bit surprised actually about how the breakdown went. Um, I don't, did they tell you how, it's like supposed to be like $150 value, right? I think so. Okay, I, I don't, cause I didn't order it. So I don't remember like from the TikTok what it said, but all right. So the first thing we have is our vibrating friend. This is a $55 value. Um, and the reason I'm surprised about it is actually the, the Mr. Swirly is only a $33 value. And I actually would have put this at a higher price. So that's why I was a little bit surprised. Oh, this is an edible massage candle. So you can also eat it. So that's probably why the vanilla smelled natural is because it's actually like vanilla rather than synthetic shit. This one is a $15.99 value. The uh, cleanser is $9.99. The bath fizz tints are $6.99 and the scratch tickets are $14.99. Oh, which is a total of $135.96. So that means it probably, they probably guaranteed $100. And I don't think I said the price of the box, but it is $45 with shipping, $50 with shipping, right around that. And it is quarterly. So it's not every month that you're gonna get this, but four times a year, if you choose to sign up for it. Did you choose to do a recurring subscription? Nikki chose to do a recurring subscription, so we will have it again in two more months. Uh, yeah, so I definitely want feedback on this video. What did you guys think of the box, of course, but is this content something you guys are interested in seeing? I know, I'm so sorry I'm the most awkward person in the world. I really was, uh, it, I, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. I did want to try it out just to see, you know, see what you guys thought, see how it, it, the video itself does, see if people are interested in seeing this kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. The internet is crazy. Um, personally, I kind of like watching this kind of stuff because it's something like, you, you, it may help you discover something that you like didn't know that you wanted to try. Doesn't mean you want to watch me do it, but anyway, anyway, like watch me unbox it. I, oh God, I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. And other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.